The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for this very short webinar on Cash Alumni. My name's Dawn and I'm the editor of Cash Alumni. Um, I'll give you my details at the end if you've got any questions. Um, what we're going to do today is have a very, very quick look through the system um, and talk about how Cash Alumni might be able to support learners who are currently studying qualifications and those who have very recently finished qualifications, um, as well as those professionals that it was designed to support throughout their lifetime in the sector. Um, so Cash Alumni was launched just over a year ago um, and it was designed for professionals working in early years care and education um, to get the best from their careers. Um, there's a careers information section and lots of support with professional development. Um, what we have actually found since we launched is that there are quite a lot of ways that Cash Alumni can be helpful before people are working in the sector and that's what we're going to focus on today. So this is our homepage and once you've signed up, um, you can see that I'm logged in in the top right hand corner and um, it's dead easy to get in. You can just click through and it'll take you to the dashboard. It's really easy to navigate Cash Alumni. What we didn't want to do was make it so that people had to figure out how to use the website. So everything is in this menu in the left hand side, um, including the things that aren't within my account, which I'll point out as we go through. So within Cash Alumni, we have a jobs feature. Um, so there is a jobs feed, which is an Indeed feed for people to find opportunities across the whole internet. Um, but we also have a featured job section. And this featured job section is where our organisational members, um, so those who've signed up as organisations rather than as individuals, um, can advertise job vacancies. Um, the benefits of advertising job vacancies within Cash Alumni are that rather than advertising those to the whole internet, and getting unsuitable applications. You can advertise those within Cash Alumni, and that means that employers aren't sifting through lots of applications from people who don't understand the, the level of, of things that they're applying for um, or what they're letting themselves in for by applying for a job within the sectors of early years or okay. care. Um, every job vacancy here is a real live vacancy from an employer member of Cash Alumni, um, and we will shortly be employed deploying some updates that will allow people to search these vacancies um, through the site itself and to make it a little bit easier for employers to post. In the meantime, you can do a control and F, which is um, pressing the control key on your keyboard or the command key if you've got a Mac um, and the F button, and that will allow you to search and find vacancies on the page by the area that they're in or by any other keyword that you want to use. One of the other sections that's quite relevant for learners is this professional development section here. So in terms of employability, there's a really, really good um, set of information within this career information section. Um, this planning and guidance section that you can see on the right hand side um, has quite a lot of employability resources um, within it. So there's something on cover letters, there's a bit on online applications, there's loads of stuff about actually career planning um, and everyone who writes for us is a subject specialist so those writing for the careers section are either within the sector and they're writing about their own experience or they are careers advisors who work for services like the National Careers Service or Career Wave um, and they write really good articles for us um, around career planning and those specifics like CVs and cover letters as well as the information and advice around careers, cover letters, CVs, we also have a Generate CV tool. So our tool is slightly different to the things that you might have seen um, elsewhere. It's not a template that people have to edit that's really far removed from their actual real life. It's a supportive CV builder. So when you hover over this eye, it tells you what that section's for. Um, and how you can navigate it. So within this section, um, the webinar won't let me show you the drop down menus, but when I click this, I promise there's a list of words. Um, and if learners choose the words that most apply to them from these drop down menus, um, then at the end of this little template, when you click generate CV, um, it'll generate a fully functioning um, CV that's really nicely formatted. Um, which is much more aligned to real life and who that person is um, so that it's much, much easier to then edit that to be personalised um, and to, to meet the needs of a CV for actually using to apply for job roles. 
This CV builder is also fed by our CPD log, so people can keep track of the qualifications and the CPD that they've done. Um, we've all had that horrible moment where we've gone to fill in an application form and we can't remember whether we got our qualification in 2011 or 2012 by the time it was finished. Um, this is a brilliant way of keeping track of everything that you've done, um, whether it's cash qualifications or qualifications from other awarding organisations and then any CPD um, so that you know that that's up to date. This is brilliant for feeding that CV builder or just for CVs in general and cover letters and application forms. Um, but the other thing this is really useful for is that once people get into the sector and they're coming up against regulators and, and checks, um, such as Ofsted inspections and people from the CQC coming to visit, um, when they say, what CPD have you done? You can open this, you can log into Cash Alumni and you can show people that massive list of, of the things that you've done to stay up to date. There's also an e-learning section within Cash Alumni. So there's some e some some modules that Cash have developed ourselves. So our learning resources teams put together some e-learning for us. Um, and that lives up at the top here. Um, we will be adding to this and there'll be a lot more CPD within the next nine months. And there's also some stuff from our partners. So the Skills Network offer funded qualifications um, online. And then Laser Learning and In Careers offer bits of CPD um, and, and courses that people can do to, to sort of improve their knowledge. Um, and a lot of those are cash endorsed. There's also a section here on cash qualifications for people to find their next step. Um, they can go to more information and they can see the units that's within that qualification and then pop that postcode in and find their nearest centre. Every Monday we publish sector news. So there's a roundup of the news that's happened from across the internet. Um, and that is anything related to the sector that's happened within the last week. Um, and that is completed by a, a journalist who writes for us, who, who keeps their eye on everything that's going on. We also publish updates, um, so important legislation or updates from um, sort of key organisations um, to make sure that people really are getting everything as it happens. Um, there's an event section. So we work with um, a lot of organisations and institutions who provide events and access to events for us. So, for example, this event from the University of Middlesex on Middlesex on Sensology um, is with a child health lecturer called Jenny Phillips, who is amazing. Um, and Jenny gives us access to some of her events um, to help people to, to take that next step and to start looking beyond just the qualification that they're doing. Um, and we'll also be adding events of our own um, over the next few months. Um, so we'll be doing some CD and cover letter workshops across the country um, so that people know um, that those are there. We'll publish those and add those to our monthly newsletter. And then my favourite part of Cash Alumni is the articles section. So within this section here, um, we have a host of articles from subject specialists. Um, and again, you can filter those using this, this menu on the side and see just those articles relating to childcare, early years, or if you want health and social care. Um, we've got some specific articles around maths um, and outdoor play um, and lots of different great things um, from across, again, that sector. Um, we've also got a wellbeing section um, to help people to, to embed self-care into their practice. Um, again, if possible, from the very, very beginning. Um, because burnout's a huge problem within early years and health and social care, um, and not everybody is very good at putting themselves first. Um, so this section's brilliant. Um, there's lots and lots of articles. We publish at least three articles a week, but most weeks we publish more. Um, and generally articles go live on a Friday, um, and then we talk about them throughout the week. As well as there being the articles themselves, at the bottom of each article is space for people to talk about them. Um, so we do have a comment section where people can discuss best practice um, and talk about the things that they've learned. Um, all comments are moderated, so nothing will appear here until um, someone from our moderation team has approved it. Um, and we have some community standards to make sure that everybody's staying safe. Um, but it's a really, really good space to share best practice, to talk about the things that people are finding challenging and to ask the subject specialists who've written those articles some questions. Um, every article is academically referenced. Um, so they're a really, really good source of information for further reading around different topics that people might be studying or might be interested in studying in the future. Um, and they're just a really, really nice source of real life information from practicing subject specialists. 
Um, we are always looking for ways to improve cash alumni. So if you've looked at this and you've thought of 20 different ways that we could do it better, please drop me an email. Um, you can get in touch with me at alumni at cash.org.uk um, or by emailing me at dawn.mulvaney at cash.org.uk. That's dawn, D-A-W-N, dot Mulvaney, M-U-L-V-A-N-E-Y at cash.org.uk or you can give me a call on 0191 240 8881. If you'd like to explore the employability part of Cash Alumni in more detail or you'd like us to come out and do a workshop with your learners around CVs and cover letters, we'd be more than happy to do that and give them that support. Um, again, same email address, same contact details, just drop us a line and we can start that conversation. Thank you very much for your time. Um, if you are your learners would like to sign up to Cash Alumni, you can do that at www.cashalumni.org.uk and we really, really look forward to welcoming you to our network. Thanks. Bye.